Today we're going to take a look at The Hell Beast by Audio Assault. The Hellbeast from Audio Assault, it's their latest amp sim and uh, it's based on the uh, the Randall Satan and at the time of this recording um, it's I think you can still actually get it on the pre-order price which I think is around about um, 9 US dollars so about uh, £7.58 pound ish don't think it's on the website yet when I checked um, a couple of days ago it still wasn't on the website so I'll put a link in the video description uh, to their Facebook group and you can uh, check it out from there right before we um, go into the sim itself uh, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of new videos coming out all the time right uh, the signal path for this is Jackson King V um, going into my Personas Audio Box i2 and I'm going into Studio One. Right, this is the uh, the front of the amp. So you, you've got your girth grind and gain, <coughs> three brand EQ, depth and the presence, um, just single channel amp. <laughs> and then you've got a kill switch, which basically gives you um, an extra gain stage on there. And then in front of the amp, we've got Tube Screamer, that's all, all you've got in the front. Uh, the cab section, what I do like about this one is uh, compared to the others, where you can, you, the, the other ones from Audio Assault, where you just, just got the option of one cab, um, you've got the choice of having two cabs. So <laughs> you can either just have one, or you can have a blend of two different cabs and so basically all, all the cabs I've got in the um, I think it's in the Dominator and Grind Machine <laughs> that's in there and um, you can also get uh, put your own IRs in um, but it's not easy um, best way around that is to get an IR loader called Pulse from uh, Lancaster Audio which I'll, I'll put a link in the description it's totally free and uh, it does come with its own pulse one but it's okay but it's not brilliant but it's a, it's a good easy way of uh, loading it on IRs and I'll, and I'll show that in a short while and uh, after the cab section uh, we've got an FX section so we've got uh, an EQ, chorus, delay and some reverb really shake your tongue with, with, with ease uh, but uh, this is what it sounds like with everything at 12 o'clock without the kill switch on. <laughs> got the, uh, the Avenger and the big fat grind oh nice nice on its own. Um, get his that kill switch. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, you've got a gate in built this, so I'll just pull it in. There you go. So let's kick the tube screamer in. Take a bit of that gain off. <laughs> some of the different cabs out I don't like that bit fat that I do. that's that's a, one of my favourite cabs in uh, in the grind machine. Oh, the dirty two by twelve. Ten bad EQ on there. So you just re really just shape it as I uh, want. Just really target some of those frequencies. And the chorus section. I find that with uh, everything at twelve o'clock, it's a bit much. Uh, just. Uh, Turn it down. Delay defaults to zero milliseconds. I have found, found with these uh, effects that <laughs> they're uh, they're pretty intense. They're not subtle at all. So you have you have to do just really dial them. Up. And the uh, the reverb. 
Excuse you. I don't like that reverb. I think the reverb is actually better, better than the delay. At the minute there's no presets, I don't know whether that's because he still under the pre-order and still working on it. It's what I, I would have liked and I have mentioned this in one or two others. I've mentioned this on the uh, the Facebook page and they would mm. like the option like you've got with the the uh, Dominator mm. to move the uh, the microphones around on the cab and they are looking into doing that. So that would be a big thumbs up. So there's just a few of the uh, different cabs that you've got built in. So there are some nice ones in there. Um, I've also got pulls loaded up. Just let me switch the cabinet section off there. That's what it sounds like on its own without a cab. But with I've got uh, pulls loaded up. And in there I've got the uh, the Glenfricker Rev V3. And that's the only I, external IR I've got at the moment. Um, and that sounds pretty cool as well. I mean, I, I do like I do like this combination of cabs, the the Avenger 4x12 and the big fat grinder 4x12. But yeah, there it is, guys. The uh, the Hell Beast by um, Audio Assault. I like it. It's, I think it's the best one that they've done yet. I mean, they, they do some pretty good amp sims, but for a, a good me metal uh, amp sim, this is awesome and uh, like I said at the minute I, I still think at the time of recording you, it's still just on the pre-order so like I said, I'll put a, a link into for their Facebook group in the description uh, but I'll, I'll also put a link in to the Audio Assault website as well and links for uh, Lancaster Audio for the uh, for the Pulse IR loader as well and uh, let me know what you think about it in the comments uh, thanks for watching I, I do uh, really appreciate it and uh, please click the link up here for videos you may not have seen um, please click down here to subscribe and hit that bell for uh, notifications and uh, like share with your friends and uh, thanks for watching Keep on rocking.